Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly romantic love reading. I hope you guys are all good. Um, I did your elements reading the other day. The link is in the description if you want to check it out after you watch this reading. That's completely up to you. The link's there along with the link to my link tree where you can find my other social media platforms and also um, my Etsy store. For anybody that's interested in purchasing um, a personal reading, I've set up an Etsy store and it's really quite detailed descriptions of what is involved with each, each reading on there. But let's get straight into your reading now. This is a general reading, so only take what messages resonate, leave what don't. Um, and I, I felt to date the reading this week. So um, yeah, it's dated, but I mean, if you find this afterwards, just take it for the week ahead of when you find the reading. Okay, Capricorn, what is going on with you and your romantic love life this week? What is going on with you with your romantic love connections? What energy are you going to be experiencing in regards to your romantic love life and romantic love connections? And what is going to be coming in? What energy is going to be coming in? I'm going to leave it there because I feel like these cards just kind of want to stay where they are. Okay. Present energy surrounding your romantic love life. Recent past energy. The energy that is guiding you this week. Something you need to know. Your near future energy. Your energy. And your person's energy for the week. Bottom of the deck, we have got the moon. The moon. Could be dreaming a lot this week. We are in Pisces season, aren't we? So you could be dreaming a lot. Um, could be feeling quite psychic. Could be feeling quite psychic this week. Could be feeling things... Um, and be more intuitive than necessarily what you're actually seeing in the physical. Um, you may be feeling things more that you can't necessarily physically see at this present time. Okay, let's take a look here. Your present energy surrounding your romantic love life. We've got the Nine of Cups. So this is amazing. Emotional joy, emotional fulfillment here. Feeling good. Feeling good about yourself feeling emotionally abundant, emotionally content with yourself, feeling great, you're feeling great, really happy this week, feeling wonderful, very attractive energy, recent past we have here the five of wands, so there may have been, uh, you may have been dealing with some people, some situations here, there could have been some sort of competition or some conflict or something, um, something come in or something erupted or something happened that needed to happen to kind of steer you on your path now you're feeling all good or you are going to be this week like the energy this week is amazing feeling great the energy that is guiding you for the week ahead we have the hermit now you could be dealing with a virgo but i feel so this is more about you this is a week for you you're feeling yourself you're going within you're really learning and understanding things about yourself, and, but you're focusing upon how you feel about yourself this week. Your independence, and you're really investing in yourself, which is you're feeling emotionally abundant in regards to you, but also you're very attractive then. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm just like knocking this around. Um, you're feeling very... Um, What's it? Uh, you're naturally going to be very attractive. You're naturally going to become very attractive because you're feeling good about yourself. What you need to know this week, we have the Knight of Swords. There's some communication coming in. There could be incoming messages here. Uh, it could be some wisdom that, that is coming in. Uh, it could be communication here from somebody. It could be an air sign coming in. Um, I feel like this could be a, a masculine that is slightly younger than you. Or maybe slightly more immature. 
do they want to talk it could even be somebody that you would a situation that you're dealing with here near future energy we have here the page of pentacles yeah you're going to have a, a new beginning a new cycle is starting something new in the physical it could be a new person or basically you're gonna you're gonna be embarking on something new in your physical you could already be connected with somebody and have you know a new cycle coming in but this the reading this week's more talking about you as an individual and loving yourself which might seem a little bit boring but this is really it's kind of like doing the groundwork really to help you um you're doing a lot you're becoming a lot more emotionally aware you're going to become i think this could also be you um understanding things more growing more conscious about your emotional connection to yourself as well for some of you your person's energy for the week ahead is the star and your energy is the four of cups yeah you're working on something to do with your emotions something you're removing any limitations i feel and and basically integrating and reprogramming yourself it's like you're reprogramming yourself to feel more abundant and to expand your abundance um and your intuition as well about things a deeper knowing of things okay let's have a look let's have a look at this knight of swords here this knight of swords we have the queen of cups now this is the, for those of you that this is talking about you and you you know moving forwards um in consciousness this is literally about self-love this is about how you love yourself nurturing yourself you giving yourself the love that you deserve knowing that you deserve that and delivering it to yourself and becoming aware you're going to become very conscious and aware of patterns that you have emotional patterns but you're going to expand uh you're going to expand your love for yourself which is going to help you not just with your love life but with many areas of your life you're going to expand your capacity of abundance you're going to expand the capacity to receive here now we've got here the i want to just see a little bit more yeah you there was some sort of deception here in the past now for some of you this is going to be you um deceiving yourself or feeling like you can you can you can't have it all i've been getting that with this as well feeling before like there's limitations like you can't have everything that you want but you you kind of being taught now that yeah yeah you can you can have everything that you want don't put them limitations on yourself um but for others of you this could be somebody that you were dealing with okay coming in who is very attracted to you who has been deceptive or they may be a little bit immature they may be a little bit immature and they haven't developed their consciousness um enough yet here but there's like a there, there's like this journey of developing it more so it could be that this is another person they're working on their um processing and um upgrading their mental body and you're doing it with your emotional body okay um near future energy we have the page of pentacles there is a sudden change with a towel moment we've got the six of wands here this is a good change someone's coming in i'm sorry for some of you yes this is going to be you understanding things and processing things but you've got somebody coming in but they're a bit more immature than you mentally they are going through a process of um it could be a water sign but i feel more so they they feel a lot of love they feel a lot of love and they're becoming conscious and aware of the love that they feel but they're a little bit immature here and they they may feel the same as you like they can't have it all they'll take what they what they feel that they can take 
but they're not taking everything. Do you know what I mean? They're not taking everything, and the same as you. It's like you, you're focused on this, and you want this, and you're going to take this, but you feel like, mm, I don't know if I can have that as well. It's kind of like this energy. This person is a little bit vulnerable and insecure. They don't quite know what's going on. They're having upgrades to their mental body. You're having upgrades to your emotional body. You may actually end up switching as well through through this and because I do feel like you are going to be gaining more consciousness as well here um okay so your person is the star we have the three of cups your person wants to connect and reunite or come in or have some sort of joy happiness and celebration they're taking action they're coming in with this knight of wands you are the four of cups this week we have the three of wands you're waiting you're gonna see something yeah definitely you're gonna see something here you're waiting though you're not making any moves and i feel like you're gonna be studying you are gonna be studying things you're learning something majorly you're you're kind of keeping yourself to yourself but some, this person's coming in for you. What do you need to know about this person? What do you need to know? We have here the King of Swords. Yes, they are leveling up. They're having a level up here. They're on a journey. And we have the Four of Wands. It could be your twin flame coming in. I just feel that they're not quite there yet. But they're getting, they're getting there. This person loves you. Um, they're getting there. They know how they feel about you. There's, and we've got the King of Pentacles. Yeah, they're coming in. They want you. They know how they feel about you. But I definitely feel with this Seven of Swords, um, there is just this thing about you both that I feel, which is um, you're expanding. You could be inspiring this person as well, but you're expanding here of of what you know and what you realize you can have and you're doing it emotionally here you know and this person's going to be doing the same thing but mentally okay and you're doing this together as a team that you can have everything you can have it all you don't need to convince yourself that oh i can have this but i can't have that because you're going to make if you do that you'll make that a reality and that's blocking you it's hindering you both of you so there is this kind of lesson that's going on, this process that's going on of being able to reprogram yourself into knowing that you can have it all through self-love. So that's what I've got for you guys for this week. Let me know if that resonates. Um, if you like the reading, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Uh, check out your Elements reading. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and have a great week, guys.